Okay, so we're back at the engine of the T7550. I got out all the studs. We had one that was sheared off and we got it. Oh, no light, one second. So with the stud in there that was sheared off, and, uh, we got a drill. I just need to clean the treads up now a little bit and make sure we've all our little bits and pieces of fragments off the bolt out of it. Of course, it doesn't need to be 100% drilled all the way. Um, you know, I never ran the danger of drilling it through the head because obviously they screw in. So if it's out a mill or two, it's not going to matter. Whereas if you had um, manifold bolts, like for example, on a TM, they're, um, funnily, we always use a TM for a reference for most things. It's, I don't know why we do that. It's, like on the TM, that's a very common statement that's used around here. Um, but anyway, they're actual bolts. You know, these are studs, whereas they're actual bolts, so you'd need to get out all the old one, or else you wouldn't be squeezed in enough, whereas we'll be running a nut on these anyway, so it's not going to make a whole pile of difference. But uh, uh, we'll get it cleaned out. And we also have this little 135 in the shed here um, that was sold last week. It's uh, getting a hitch fitted to it, so need to get that job done as well so i'll tap this out and move on to the front axle here i'm going to beat out these uh, bushings and maybe this evening we'll get back onto the 135. okay so a little bit better of a view basically what i'm doing by tapping is i'm running the tap into the treads as you can see here this one obviously is perfect but i'm going to go back to the damaged one now <clears throat> So basically, if you drill the hole, you'd actually be able to cut a thread in it with one of these. But um, we don't need to do that. The thread is already there. We're just cleaning up the existing one because there's bold fragments. I don't know if you can see them there inside in the hole. So we need to get all of that crap out. See, it's not running in just as nice as it was on the other side. And there it's getting tight now. So I need to put down the camera because you run the risk of shearing these guys off inside in the head and then that's a lovely problem. So the trick is here with this bush, as you can see, it's flush with everything going out along there. So it's a bit of a pain to get it out. But uh, the trick is I just actually weld it, weld the ridge into it and you'll be able to hit it from the other side. So we're gonna do that now and I'll show you the end result of that. Okay, so with some welding done to the bush there, as you can see, we've got it lovely and hot, so it actually just pops straight out. Now, sometimes it don't, but um, we'll see. I'll shove a bar in from the other side, hit it the smack of a sledge, and if everything is hunky-dory, that should just fall off out of there. There we go, came straight out. So now, I should be able to lift top wishbone arm off there we go and do our um, bushes here do put in back in that center bush and back in our pin that's some wear for the where the seal has worn into the steel. I can never, it, it's unbelievable how, how um, seals can wear into metal. Uh, it, it's, it, it's quite something. So I brought this in a few months ago. Um, uh, when I wasn't recording videos, this came in. It's uh, 8340, obviously. Um, nice tractor with solid rims all around i don't think they were originally for it because it has this which is common for dutch tractors uh, but we've been using it for hedge cutting uh, so far that's what it's done for us i've done nothing else with it seems a good tractor has thrown an error there for the lift uh number 14 but i i see somebody posted the other day that there's this um, company in the north doing a little resistor that you can plug in and it, it clears that error so yeah these are getting hard to get now, very hard to get. So I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to keep it or I'm going to sell it. 
but for now it's not for sale anyway maybe at some stage it will but uh, being the tractor that it is it's on 540s front links 540s in the front 650s in the rear fronts are down but um it's also a later one and it's in pretty good nick so I don't know I'm not sure whether I'll sell it or not maybe like I say at some stage I will sell it but I think if it had front PTR probably would never be convinced to sell it but um, like I say it's a nice one and I know there's a good few 40 series fans watch the videos here so so I'll update you with it good meaty enough rubber on the back they're Pirellis so they're gonna be quite old but We've escaped any substantial cracking so far. Like I said, it's just been on the hedge cutter since we got it. It hasn't done anything else. It came after silage and all that, so it was literally uh, straight on the hedge cutter. I don't think it done one other job. Uh, we'll put a wiper there on the hinge for the window, which is a good job for when you're hedge cutting. There's a TM seat. It's in pretty good order inside in the cab. Four spools. Bit of a tear here, which is common. It's kind of hard to avoid that. Uh, and I think there's 11,000 hours in it. Can't remember. Oh, the 13,000 hours in it. So, yeah. Like I said, nice tractor, running smooth, not uh, wound to the last, which is unusual, but um, yeah, just said I'd show you that, like I say, I know you love your 40s in these videos, so hit me up in the comments, let me know what you think of it. Doesn't have the TM style um, mirror arms, which is unusual. You'd actually most of them are changed over now, but um, that's the original mirror arms. <laughs>